pretty much where the line is right there. There's a there's a metal post here. That is the actual line that's stuck right by the tree. So we're actually not really raising up this area. We're just leveling it off. No, in here. this will come up a little bit here. Is this his property line though? No. Oh. Our, my property line starts right above. Oh, so we can build the hill up a little bit, huh? Yep. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's just gonna, up here, it's probably gonna be here, and then down over there, it's gonna be more like two and a half. Yep, I just, like right now, we can't get a good fire and people out here, because it just, there's no way to sit. Yeah. You get a chair out here, and you're like, ah. So we're raising this up to about what height? So over here, you got your prop, we can stop, like, you're just basically concerned about like leveling this area off in here. Huh? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This is where like the hill would probably start. Right here, sloping down about, like I said, two to one. So You're probably coming up about this. Three feet. Yeah. That's what I yeah. was figuring. About three, maybe three and a half feet coming up in here. Yeah. This will probably be like the, uh, where it's leveled off. This will probably be the corner. Yeah. And then yep. everything beyond this Hopefully, will yeah. just... Yeah, and you're gonna down. seed it right away. And you, so no, yeah, he will. It, yeah. We might seed it for him. Yep. Extra charge. Yeah, yeah. And do some erosion control um, netting. And well, I don't know if we'll need to do any netting on here. I don't think. Well, that's what I want. I want to make sure that I don't deal with the erosion. That's my. So you do want to? So you might. Well, how much more is down. that? I mean, I want to know what that is. Or is there the netting is do? about four dollars a square yard. So. So let's say uh, we only use the netting around where this hill is, where yep. it's going to be sloughed off on the edges here. And then, so it's eight foot long. Mm -hmm. Our hill might be a little bit longer, but we could probably cover a majority of it. The rolls are eight by 100 feet, so $4 per square yard. And we yard. should have, on the low side here, some silt fence in case we do start getting a lot of rain. It, honestly, it, if it washes, a little bit more you can buy that menard. It's just like the, the stakes you pound in, you mm -hmm. get a little trench, and you put the flap in the ground going heading uphill and you bury it so any anything that would wash would get caught on that fence before it washes down into the we can't be able to back a dump truck into here so yeah so i was thinking the dump truck would come and dump probably right in front of that tree kind of next you know you just yeah, right yeah, up right his back my truck up here and then yeah. have him dump you know if you yep. can dump back here it's good yep. he'd have to get past that branch there he's yeah. not he can hang out. the ass end over and yeah Better if you can back into it and remove it for me. I'm gonna jump in here because this hurts. This hurts so much. Please don't do this to your own equipment. Now, Alex and Tim, two of the best operators I know. Tim in an excavator, I will put him against anybody in the nation. But this oh, can't be everywhere all the time. But you know what? Sometimes the shortest route from point A to point B is just a barrel straight on through. It's just, I can feel that through the screen every smack. In general, you're not supposed to bang your hydraulics. What? Did I get in there? Did that, that one stand? Yeah. I was just going to dig out around it until the grip tank didn't talk because it ain't going nowhere. You're supposed to use the power of the machine, the breakout force, to do it, not the weight banging on the hydraulics. You're gonna blow cylinders, you're gonna blow rupture hoses, you're gonna twist arms, you're gonna have lots of problems doing it like this. But I am guilty of doing it sometimes too. Like, you know what, you can spend an hour digging on something or you can hit it one time and be done with it. What's worse? I don't know, I'm asking you, what's worse on a machine? Would you rather spend an hour digging something out or punch it, punch through it one single time? What's your opinion? I'd like to hear.
Alright, so we've wrapped up the job. We got it all done in one day. We bit it for two, but we got it done in one. So, this is our final wrap up of what we got. It brought in nine loads of fill, two loads of topsoil. Oh. Straw blanket on the hills to prevent erosion, seed down, raked, and then finished up where we destroyed everything to get all the materials in. And yeah. Everything's all wrapped up, got it done in one day. We were hoping, we were thinking too with trucking, but John pulled through for us and trucked all day and got it done in all one. It's nice to have a victory once in a while. And what I mean is it's so awesome as a business owner when we get a job accomplished ahead of the deadline instead of on the deadline or after the fact, after the deadline. And on this job, we actually had some time to do some bonus work for the customer as well. I think this turned out really beautiful and it was a very simple job. Nine loads of structural fill laid out, compacted and graded so that it won't settle. So we've got the structural cushion underneath that's rock solid hard and then two loads of pulverized screen black dirt and that's fluffed and spread and gently laid out so that way the uh, vegetation has an ability to establish and, and let a yard grow back in for this customer. I'd love to hear what you guys are currently working on. Tell me about some of your projects if you don't mind. And uh, again, I want to ask you one more question too. Um, on hydraulics, if you run equipment, what's your idea on banging hydraulics versus using the breakout force and, and just powering through it that way? But that's all we got for you on this one. God bless you guys. I hope you uh, enjoy your weekend, your week, your days, your nights, your family, your life. That's all it's that's all it's that's what it's all about. God bless. Go get them, you guys.